accessories that I added to the V-Star 950 over this past winter. Coming right up. Thanks for stopping by today, Lenderman Shop, to uh, check out um, some of the new accessories that I added to the V-Star 950 over the winter. Uh, it's a beautiful day, summer is here. Um, the <laughs> The smoke from Canada has lifted and I should probably be out riding today, but I thought uh, it's been a long time. I better get some, uh, get another uh, video back up on YouTube so you guys can see what I've, what I've done. Um, I will make a tutorial video of sorts so that you can see exactly how I put on all the different components of what I added. Um, so let's go through the list and I'll show you exactly what I did and we'll just be a minute here. All right, so here's the windshield. We've already seen that, the video's up top there. Um, the USB charger over here, this is great. And it's, it's, I, I mounted it so it's right next to my phone holder. You can see the phone holder there. So the USB charger has uh, an on and off switch here. And it has a volt voltmeter indicator on the top there. So be sure to turn it off if you leave it on. Um, if you leave it on, it might drain your battery over a few days. Uh, so you wanna make sure you turn it off. It is nice getting home from a ride and seeing that um, your, your phone is charged at 100% rather than getting home and seeing it's at like 2% and just about to shut off on you. So USB charger, uh, that was $15, okay? A great investment, I will say. The, the, the windshield, I forgot to tell you, the windshield was, um, the windshield was $100 at the time that I bought it. So $100 here, about $15 for the USB charger. Right next to the charger, I have my phone holder over here, and I cannot tell you exactly uh, the brand of that phone holder. It's one of those uh, advertisements that pops up on Facebook, and you're like, eh, should I trust this group or what? So I went ahead and bought it. I think it was probably like $10 or something like that. But I, I do like it. Uh, it covers the phone entirely. It's a little hard to get to uh, as far as using your fingers with gloves on if you want to uh, use any of your apps that you have on the phone. Um, but I do like it. It does protect the phone. I haven't used it in the rain, but I think it would uh, protect it pretty well if it rained. Probably better protection than uh, just one of those claws that holds onto your phone. Um, and it has this little sun visor uh, to help you see it keep the glare off. Uh, so those are uh, the items that we added up front. The windshield, the USB charger, and the phone holder I had on there. Um, I actually had the phone holder on my Nighthawk, and then I moved it over to this bike. So uh, worth the investment there, I would say. All right, let's move to the uh, back side of the bike. Now, I almost forgot to mention that the seat that I have on here is the Mustang seat with, with the backrest, the driver backrest on it. Um, I have a video of that as well right up here I think um, so I put that one on two years ago so I haven't really touched on that today in this video because that one's been on for uh, about two years now all right let's go to the creme de la creme of what I added uh, over the winter and this is the uh, the Viking bag let me make sure I get the Viking essential side pocket large leather saddle bags with locks okay this one has locks on it these are these are really nice bags, and I'll go into more detail on these bags um, when I do the individual video and how I installed this and so forth. But just a general overview, um, it, it does come with a lock. This one has a lock on it. Uh, they have little latches here and lots of Velcro, almost too much Velcro in the front, in the back. Yeah, pop these out, and there you go. Okay, and there's plenty of room on the inside. Plenty of room on the inside. Um, these open up too. These have a zip on them. And still have the stuffing in there. I forgot to take that out. I'll leave that in there to keep them uh, nice and filled looking. And there is, of course, Velcro on, on that as well there. Uh, so these are, these are leather. And the price that I paid for these was $200. Let me see, they were $250. Um, and I had a coupon code that, that came up on Facebook, I think it was, um, for $75. So I got $75 off the $250 price. And then, of course, shipping was $25. So uh, my, my final price for both bags was uh, $200. 
which I think is a pretty good deal. These are these are leather bags. They're uh, got a nice stiff side. They're they're very. I don't feel like they're going to sag on me. And again, I'll go over more detail. Now I was just looking at the website this morning, and uh, if you get the one with the studs on it, uh, that that beaded stud look all around, that one's actually less, and the price is actually less for them than it is for this bag here. Uh, I think they were uh, they're they're having sales at the time of me doing this video, um, so they're they're that bag. I think it was two twenty nine. If you get the bags without the locks. If you get the bag without the lock, I think there were 150 uh, on the website today. So I think that's a great, great deal as well. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm going to use these locks that much. So if I had, um, I don't know, I, I, I missed that, that, that they had bags without the locks on it. Because I probably would have gone with the bags without the locks. But anyway, it does have a lock. That's nice. And uh, I'll probably use it. But uh, just so you know, there's three different choices. Um, on this particular bag if you go to the uh, the Viking website and again I'll put that information down below okay let's move on um, to the backrest and the the luggage rack over here um, so let's get a, let's go a little closer for this one so um, I, I wanted to get something on on the back here um, and I wanted a little luggage rack. Uh, so, so here's the the real truth. Last year on my Am on our Amazon account, my uh, my wife and I share the same account. So I found a bag that I put into the uh, account, and I, or I'm sorry, I put into the shopping cart, and uh, I I really wasn't intending on purchasing it yet, but I just put it there to save it. Uh, so a couple couple days later. Uh, delivery guy comes to the door, Amazon guy comes and drops something off. I said, huh, I wonder what that is. Well, it turns out it was the, the pouch bag that I had put in the, uh, the cart. And my wife said, well, it was there, so I thought you wanted it. So I went ahead and purchased that while she had gotten a couple other things. Well, it turned out to be a, a bag that needed to be strapped on. Um, it was more for an enduro bike. Uh, so that's kind of started my quest to find somehow to, to attach that bag. Uh, but everything was pretty expensive. You know, the grab bars were expensive to tie it onto. Uh, the little knob things, uh, pegs, were expensive to uh, to put on here. And I thought, boy, that's a lot of money just for those small items. So that's how I ended up getting the um, the saddlebags. That's how I ended up getting the backrest and so forth. Because I think I got all of this for less than uh, if I'd have bought a few of the other products. Anyway, let's get back to the sissy bar here. I got this one off of uh, eBay. And the price of the backrest and the luggage rack, they came together. The price of that was uh, $103 plus tax. So um, I discovered that this is, uh, you know, it's probably made in China. Um, you can see some of the welds are probably not the best quality. I, I think it's definitely going to hold up as far as strength goes. Uh, where Will the chrome hold up? Uh, if, you know, if we get rained on, I'm, I'm not sure, but it, it does feel very sturdy. Um, I saw another gentleman doing a review um, of accessories on his shadow. I think he had, I forget what shadow he had, but he had a backrest similar to this, and he put the link down below. And uh, I checked it out, and they had one for the V-Star, so I thought, well, if it worked for him, it'll work for me. So so there is the, uh, the backrest and the luggage rack. Um, and again, I will show in more detail um, how to how to install this in in an upcoming video all right so to recap what I have on the bike up to this point uh, the crater crater clear windscreen uh, it's called a windscreen I call it a windshield but it's the clear one you can get them in smoked as well um, actually as of today they were unavailable so hopefully they will come back for you um, the the second item that I showed you today was the uh, USB charger that also has a volt indicator on it um, has two inputs, um, and very helpful. And again, I'll show you how I installed that. The other piece that I showed to you, and I'll take a closer picture, is the uh, the iPhone or the phone holder over there. Not to be specific, uh, it is a cell phone holder over there, which I I think is uh, for the price I paid. Again, I don't think it was more than ten or fifteen dollars for it, but I I think that does a real nice job for what it's supposed to do. It holds my phone, and then. Um, so the, the USB charger is $15, the, uh, the phone holder, I'm not quite sure how much that was, it wasn't too much a few years ago. 
Um, and then we, we saw the Viking saddlebags, which I am really impressed with. Again, I haven't used them in the rain yet. I've put a few things in them for a few, uh, some of the rides I've been on. Um, so, you know, time will tell how they hold up, but they, they, they do feel like they're made of very good quality. Uh, $200 for the Viking saddlebags over there. And then the very last thing we saw today was the, uh, the backrest and luggage rack. Um, which uh, I got off of eBay and the price for that was $103 plus tax. So if I do my math correctly here, I believe $100 for the windscreen, uh, $15 for the USB over there. Um, we won't worry about the phone holder. Um, $200 for the um, saddlebags and $103 for um, $100 three for the backrest and sissy bar. That brings us uh, around, that brings us to about $418. I'm laughing because I had to uh, edit and uh, do my math there. So for less than $500, uh, I think I put a, put a, a few nice upgrades on the bike for, for this year. Uh, my next upgrade that I like to do, my next accessory, um, would be to put on um, some highway bars or uh, engine guards so that I can put some uh, some foot foot pegs on there and that way I can stretch out a little bit more of this uh, Mustang seat pushes me up a little bit as I said in our other Mustang seat video pushes me up a little bit so I I don't have that room to stretch out that we had with the stock one um, although I do like the seat so um, engine guards with foot pegs and then the last thing I want to put on this bike is a lot of miles uh, I have not put nearly enough miles on this bike. It is, uh, it is a great bike. I really like it I, and I enjoy riding it. I just don't ride it enough. So, um, all right. So until the next time, stay tuned for um, the how-to videos of uh, installing saddlebags, how I installed the, the luggage rack and sissy bar. Um, those two I kind of did together, so I'll separate those videos. Uh, and how I ran the, uh, the USB uh, charger over there and a little bit more information on each one of those items. But I did want to let you guys know that I have not been idle here and I wanted to show you in case you have any interest. If you have any questions, uh, let me know um, in the comments below if you have any questions about these uh, accessories that I put on. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to uh, have you help me with is if you have a, an engine guard on your V-Star 950, um, what do you have? Uh, I'd love to uh, get some feedback on that because I, I don't know. I want it to, I don't want it to be gigantic, uh, but I do want it to be functional. Um, uh, it, anyway, so I'd love to hear your comments on that. All right. Till the next time. Thanks for tuning in to, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in to Lenderman Shop, and uh, stay tuned for my upcoming um, how I installed these videos. All right. Take care, guys.